let's talk about computer memory and the types of memory the storage now all of this is governed with two important criteria one is the ease with which you can access and the second is the speed with which you can access let's take a very simple example of a house i believe you might be uh, amazed why a house is being kept here now in this house when i am uh, uh, going to sleep what would happen is the things that I would cl keep closest to me might be a bottle of water so what would that be that would be a kind of primary storage because it is the most easiest thing I can access the secondary storage is might be the wardrobe the tertiary storage is a garage outside your house so what happens here is this is classified based on the speed the ease with which you can access the various things similar goes with the computer memory since computer memory has so lot of information there should be some ease with which the computer is able to access the information the ease and the speed with which it's able to process the information so the primary memory the components are ram and rom now these are attached to the motherboard and they are the most easiest and the fastest to access usually the units are smaller in megabytes and gigabytes you have the ram that is usually seen now what happens here is uh, we would understand these units in a while in the next section the next is the secondary storage secondary storage is the next level of storage this storage could be classified under either the PCI or SETA. PCI is the peripheral component interface. Now here what you have is the NVMe which is the non-volatile memory express. Under SETA you have the hard disk that comes in, you have a floppy drive that comes in, SSG that comes in and what is this SETA? SETA is the serial advanced technology attachments that are there. So that is again important. The tertiary is which is attached through a peripheral component. So it could be either through USB, it could be either through, uh, let's say, um, network. So you have NAS, which is network attached storage. You could have optical drives, you could have tape drives that are seen, you could have flash drives that are seen. So all those are part of tertiary memories. Usually secondary storage is generally found in terabytes as of now and uh, secondary storage found in terabytes and tertiary storage found in petabytes that is the usual uh, kind of storage capacities that we talk about coming on to the next important thing here is understanding the storage units now when i talk about a storage unit what is very very important is understanding what are the kinds of storage units that are there so here you have the smallest unit which is known as bit four bits make a nibble okay then you have eight bits which make a byte now as soon as you have byte then you would have kilobyte megabyte gigabyte which is the si system that we talk about and with this si system you have the various uh, units that are explained However, the recent system talks about a binary system and that is focusing on not kilobyte but kibibyte. Now, what is the difference? When I say kilobyte, I say thousand bytes make a kilobyte. But when I say kibibyte, it is much more precise. It is 1024 which is exactly to the powers of 2. So we, we have higher preciseness under binary numeral systems and therefore we use KB bytes. Now the notation again varies. For kilobyte you use KB, for KB byte you use K, I and B. The difference at the kilobyte and the kibibyte level is a small. It's just 2.4% as you can see only a difference of 24 that's here. But as you proceed to higher units, this difference increases up to 20 times by the time you reach your tabite. Now, how does it work? So every time you have 2 raised to the power of 10 that is there. With the next level, you would have 2 raised to power of 20, 30 and so on. So here you would have a significant amount of difference that would be seen at each level. The most common kind of question comes up is the hierarchy that is asked. Usually, as of now, we use the, these as the common symbols. So kilobyte followed by megabyte, gigabyte, then you have terabyte, petabyte exabyte now exabyte is represented either by eb and sometimes it's also represented by xb then you have zettabyte and yottabyte 
So those are the connotations that we take into account and wherever you have A, it is repl uh, replaced by I in the binary system which is a much more uh, refined system that we say and here is where we have the difference that comes in by the time you are reaching the Yota byte or the Yobi byte and the hierarchy as I said is very very important so when I say you have one megabyte that means it is thousand kilobytes or precisely we say 1024 so 1024 is the exact unit that should be used here similarly when we are talking about one gigabyte we are saying it is nearly thousand megabytes or 1024 megabytes should be the exact exact preciseness that that should come up so the hierarchy i repeat again is very very important we start with the lowest level which is bit then we move on to four bits which is nibble eight bits which is byte as soon as we come on to bytes which is eight bits we have kilobyte megabyte gigabyte then you have a terabyte petabyte exabyte zettabyte and yottabyte similarly we move with the kibibytes and the binary numeral systems and the difference between the two as we have already explained now this is a very very important section both the primary secondary and tertiary storage or the memories in computing as well as the storage units we would be continuing many important lectures in computing have a wonderful day